Today, we're gonna be using a mod that makes it so the more pops a tower has, the more damage it does. Every digit in the pop count equivalents to a multiplication of damage. So if we have 10 damage, that's two digits, so that's a multiplication of two. If we have a thousand pops, well, that's four digits, and that means four times damage. Are we gonna be able to make an absolutely monstrous tower that can just defeat everything? Or will the balloons eventually become too strong for us? Let's find out. If you're enjoying these videos, by the way, make sure to hit that like button. All right, so do we wanna have just one tower just try to get all of the pops we could try to do adora because adora is crazy i think you want something that has a lot of little attacks right adora is really nice because she has multiple attacks and she has crazy range and they're homing right and it has a lot of pierce as well so i think that's a pretty good good option i think a lot of different towers are going to be good for this right I, I don't think we need necessarily need one tower getting all of the pops so if you click on adora as you can see the amount of money that it's made is what how much multiplication damage they have so as you can see we have three digits so that means it's times three damage so she should be able to just one shot green balloons right yeah so they're already one shot in green balloons now pierce is gonna be kind of a problem i think we definitely want to make sure we have more pierce with that as well. I think having an energizer is going to be really good, especially having an energizer right there. While we're working on this, though, let's just go ahead and just get some banana farms. I mean, tax shooter, right? I feel like you can't go wrong with the tax shooter, especially if we have it right here. That seems like a very nice thing to have. And eventually it'll just, see it already does two times damage, right? So it's already gonna do tons of damage. Look at this, it already is doing so much damage. Let's just get more attacks and even more attacks. It just one shots green balloons too. And once we get to a thousand damage and it gets that four times damage, that's going to be really good. It's going to be it's going to be really easy to get to like 5 times damage for most towers, right? And having 5 times damage is nothing to scoff at. 5 times damage for some towers means a lot, especially like ninja. We definitely want to get a ninja. Ray of Doom is also going to be another one that we desperately are going to want. There we go. So we have 4 times damage on this thing now. Look at this. It does so much damage. I can't find a good spot for the ninja. I guess I'll just have the ninja right here. All right, let's get these upgraded. Let's get some marketplaces up in here. Purple balloons, we're going pretty well. Lead balloons, Adora can hit lead balloons. Wait, Adora can hit lead balloons, right? I am almost kind of sure it hits lead balloons. Please hit lead balloons, right? Okay, I, I knew she hit lead. I was just testing you guys. All right, Adora has four times. Ninja Monkey's already doing really well. Let's get Seeking Shuriken on this guy. So the lack of Pierce on towers is not great. So we definitely want to get something that can take advantage of Pierce. So they all just have four times damage right now. The ninja is starting to really rack up some damage now. Oh my gosh, Druid Spirit of the Forest. Holy cow, is that going to make the Spirit of the Forest do four times damage as well? Wait, let's see how fast does he just like destroy this guy. I wasn't like super impressed. I mean, I guess it's also a T2 tag shooter and like a T3. Okay, what are all the towers that are gonna greatly benefit from this? Boomerang Monkey is going to be really nice as well. A tour just does so much damage, it's crazy. Five times! Wait, 12,000 pops on this ninja? What the heck? Oh my goodness. 13,000 pops. Okay, this is starting to get this is starting to get a little saucy here. We're not going to like round 100. I'm actually going to push this mod to its limits and see just how powerful it can make it, right? I don't want to get any paragons. I want to get kind of just the basics. Oh my gosh! Glue gunner is going to be insane cuz the glue gunner does damage on such a quick interval that I think the glue the glue gunner is going to become busted. Balloon Solver? Wait, so Balloon Liquifier. So it does 10 pops every second. But it does it in like a faster, a faster way than normal, right? I'm pretty sure. Let's get all of these upgraded. Okay, I need to get above a T2 tack shooter. I can get this upgraded and then I get a faster shooting. Like, I might as well just, might as well at this point. This guy's crazy. So we need 100,000 pops for the next one. See, this is where it starts getting a little bit slow. So 100,000 pops and then a million. I think we're, there's no way we're going to get to like 10 damage, right? There's no way we're, or 10 times multiplier. Actually, we might. It's not crazy. It's not going to be completely unheard of to get like a 10 times damage multiplier. It's going to be pretty difficult, but okay. Let's skip some rounds here. 
All right, now we're making crazy money. So the first thing first is definitely submarine, right? Energizer is gonna be really nice to have. Like, look at look at that thing. It just melts balloons. We'll put a village here and get MIB because that's gonna be important. We're gonna want tax zone. We're gonna want this guy. We're gonna we're already so powerful. We're already just so crazy powerful. Well, you can go to round 80 because he does. Again, this is this ninja's doing time five times damage. Look at what he does to a ZOMG. He just melts. Okay, never mind. The tax shooter is also doing crazy work. The tax shooters. I want to see some damage. See, I need to get the monkey sub going too. These guys are just gonna get all the pops. Ooh, this is actually gonna become a problem because I do want more balloons and towers to get through. Because I want the sub to start getting pops. If the sub's not getting pops, he's not gonna be re There we go, now it's, oh my gosh. He already has times five. Let, oh my gosh, look at how much damage he's getting. Let's go, he got so much. This is already at six times damage for both of them. Okay, this is, this is good. And then we can, we can level the Ray of Doom up. Oh my gosh, the Ray of Doom is not good right there. All right, what are some other options here? Definitely Spirit of the Forest Truth. I guess I probably want the Spirit of the Forest right here. All right, there we go. And then now, oh my gosh, he's already at times five damage. Wait, he's not in the range of the village. How did I not put him in the range of a village? How did I miss that? Okay. That was a little awkward, but that's fine. Okay, now he should be getting tons of pops. Okay, around 108. What else What else just attacks really fast that we... I mean, I guess it doesn't have to attack really fast. I want to see what this glue gunner is capable of. There we go, and give me balloon solver. I think we want stronger glue. He already has times six damage. Look at how much damage he does! He does so much damage! Okay, and also, I want to make sure we get a more glaives because we just want him to do as much damage as possible. Who else is a good option for just crazy damage? Sniper might not. I don't think Sniper's that crazy though. I don't think he's gonna be, I don't think he's gonna get out of hand, you know? We'll see, we'll, we'll come back to the Sniper and see what he's gonna be capable of. I don't wanna skip too much and get overwhelmed though. As I'm skipping too much, then I'm probably gonna get overwhelmed. I think we also wanna get, Flying Fortress, because they're all just, like, he's already at five times, six times damage. Wait, no, 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 we definitely want to get more darts on this. We definitely want rapid fire and lots more darts. That's definitely so much more important. And then Apache Prime, and I guess I'll just give him IFR. He already has five times damage, so everything just does five times damage right now. We're on round 170. What, how many pops? Wait, so that's at a million pops, so now it has seven times damage. Two million pops on the balloon solver, what? Okay, Boomerang Monkey. He has a million, but doesn't he doesn't have any pop count next to him. So, 197 on that, which is like nice. Let's see, Spectre, 6 million. Wow, that's amazing. What are some other options of towers that just attack fast? Because you want them to get like a huge bonus damage. That's your best option. I mean, you can always get Tech Terror. Can I fit a, I, and I can fit a Tech Terror there, might as well. Cause now, look, he's already at six times damage. We're at round 175. These towers would not be able to get to round 175 on their own, right? And there's just no way. Do we jump to round 200 and see if they, ooh. All right, round 200. I jumped to round 200. This might lose. Can they, can they defeat this? Oh, this might be it. I don't know, they might have it. No. Unfortunately, they still couldn't beat round 200, but that was insane. That was so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications.